We looked at the whole map of the peninsula and we identified where water was, whether it be rivers, little lakes, little ponds, little flooded quarries, whatever it may be. Uh, we had uh, around 20 identified. Um, and then we said, OK, if we want to get these ecologists to look at them in detail, they certainly can't do them all. So we selected five sites based on a particular criteria, criteria being that they would be connected with the Shannon somehow, and also that they would be dispersed around the peninsula, that they would be accessible, because many of these wetlands are on private land, they're on farmers' lands. Wetlands, they're a unique habitat, and I think they're undervalued in Ireland, and they're also undervalued on the Loophead Peninsula. And our job and our hope is to make people value wetlands more. Um, sometimes people think wetlands, because it's wet, that it's that you just fill it in, that it's not important. But it's really important for migrating birds. Um, it's really important overwintering. If they're filled in or if they're polluted in any way, or if they're threatened, there is nowhere for these birds to stop off and overwinter and feed. So in that sense, they're really important. Today, Jeff has come down and he's going to look at one of, one of the sites. Um, it's probably going to probably take maybe the afternoon, maybe just to have a look, a little look. And he's going to he's going to tell us what it is, basically. I more or less specialise in coastal lagoons. I got involved in that work when, uh, first of all, back in 1996, um, when uh, and, uh, coastal lagoons had been listed under the Habitats Directive as a priority habitat and uh, under in special need of protection. My job is to come and look at the animals that are living in, in the water in these wetlands that they've chosen for study and just to see what kind of animals there are and um, to identify them and, and then to, um, well more or less to classify the five wetlands that they have chosen to study. We're not experts, that's where the ecologists come in, they say, they say what it is they classify it. Is it a lagoon? It's, it's a river, it's a tidal creek, whatever it may be. And it's important because these live here or they're moving from A to B and they stop here and that's why it's important. And he'll also possibly be able to identify what the risks are. So then that's where we jump in. We go, okay, now we have this report. <coughs> now we can put in phase two of the project to say, so how do we go about raising awareness within the community of these uh, particular landscapes? Think. What do you think? How would you, what would you say this is then? It's a tidal creek. It's uh, with all this marine influence and it kind of it fills up at high tide and it'll empty at low tide. So it'll drain completely at low tide. Okay. And so it's a, it's a tidal creek and it, it could be uh, called an estuary, but I think it's just a question of size, whether it's a tidal creek or an estuary. Each wetland might have its own particular set of visitors as such. So particular birds, um, particular insects, particular larvae, that live there um, and then the little creatures that live there again they provide food for other creatures so this is why it's important 